Big Read, the world's biggest night show. It's 99.7 now. You know, I always like to highlight dope artists on the rise. If you paid attention lately to my Big Read Pick 10, one of those artists are in the building. Now, I don't know. It was probably like two months ago, probably two and a half months ago. I was up 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning, scrolling, looking online on TikTok, looking on Twitter, looking on IG like I always do, then going to Spotify and just checking out artists and checking out these different playlists. And I come across not the 1975. And I'm like, yo, why can't I not stop listening to this song? That's sick. <laughs> why is this? Why do I keep coming back to this guy? Why do I keep coming back to this artist? Then I listen to Sneakers. Then I listen to these other records you've had. And you just dropped one uh, a couple yeah. of days ago, by the way. We'll get into that. But uh, I've become a fan of yours, bro, over the last Thank few you, months. And I'm really happy to have you face to face with me. We said it was going to happen. I was going to say, I'm stoked. I've been looking forward to this one. I really have. I'm really, I'm, I'm happy to be here with you, bro. My guy Knox is in the building. <laughs> yes, live sir. at 99.7 now. How you feeling? Dude, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm working and it's, yeah, it's amazing. I feel like a million bucks. Really. Are you tired at all? Yeah, I mean, I'm completely, I'm, sure. I'm completely exhausted. I, I haven't been, I haven't been home in uh, about a month and so, yeah, but uh, you know, it's good. It's part of the gig and I'm like, you know, I'd rather be doing this than not doing it, you know? I've told a part of your story on uh, when I drop my videos, when I talk online, and when I'm on the air, I talk about you a lot. Every single time I play the record, I'm talking about you. Heck yeah. <laughs> talking about where you're from, how you grew up, how you, like, got your money and was like, I'm out, I'm going to Nashville. Yes, sir. I'm going to make it happen. You were writing songs, you were in the studios, and then it came a point when they were like, yo, like, you're not just going to write these songs for other people. You need to record this yourself. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it was crazy. I actually, so I had pre-recorded all the songs. They were supposed to be pitch songs for other people, mm -hmm. and they were. But I had sang all the demos, and I was like, I showed them to my publishers, and they were, I, you know, I was like, somebody's got to sing these songs. These are sick, and they were like, yeah, y you. And I was like, oh, and so me and my manager here, we just, yeah, we were like, let's put out one, see what happens. And I started posting on TikTok. I had 111 followers, mm. and then like my fourth video ever. Just like I woke up and had like. 3 million views and it was just gone. It's a wrap. Yeah, and so since then it's just kind of it just kind of gets crazier every single day. So, do you have like those moments where you just like, you know, like everyone's in the studio and you just walk outside real quick or people are eating, you just go outside and just like take a deep breath and realize that you know your dreams are coming true? Yeah, dude, I feel like I've gotten pretty like you know, I feel like with my girlfriend or, like, my friends, I'll be, like, complaining about things, right? I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, dude, like, Atlantic wants me to get this song done or turn this song in or whatever. And then I have to, like, step outside of that. I'm like, bro, the fact that I can even say that sentence, like, Atlantic Records wants you to turn a song in. It's like, that's crazy, dude. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm pretty good about, you know, stepping out of it and just appreciating all of it day by day. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Now you've been stopping at a, uh, at a bunch of radio stations, and I know mm -hmm. this is your favorite one so far. I mean, you don't it's have to living say it up to loud. the hype. I'm just <laughs> you saying. Don't have to say it out <laughs> loud, but what's been uh, your favorite part about stopping at these different places and meeting these different people? Dude, I mean, honestly, one, one just having the chance to say thank you to the people that are helping make dreams become reality. Yeah. Like without any of y'all, you know, I'm not in this position. I don't have a song. Like it's crazy. It's absolutely mind blowing. Um. So definitely that. And then two, like we've been doing like fan events and to see like to be in cities I've never been in my life, even cities I've never heard of in my life, pull up to these cities. And then there's like fans. We we were at one yesterday and there were fans that were waiting outside since like one o'clock and we didn't even go on until four just to play like three songs. Um, and so, yeah, like meeting fans just all over the country and seeing people that dedicated is 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 like really special. So. For sure. Yeah. That's awesome, it. man. I'm really happy all of this is happening for you. Thanks, bro. Because you seem like a genuine guy. And I made sure I wore my Warriors I, hat Oh, today. I noticed as soon as uh, I walked in. It? Oh, I noticed. <laughs> no, come on. Y'all know he's he, 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 a LeBron fan, right? I am. I am a LeBron fan. There's nothing Die wrong hard. with it. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Are you so that, Does that mean you're rooting for the Lakers now? Unfortunately. More, unfortunately? Yeah, because okay, I'm going to ride for LeBron. But it's crazy, dude, because I grew up. You know, I grew up when it was like LeBron, Kobe, mm -hmm. and you were either LeBron or Kobe, and so I was always like, obviously, you know, my my opinion has changed, but like growing up, it was like, I hate Kobe, LeBron's the GOAT, yeah, whatever. Obviously, now that Kobe's passed, RIP, absolute legend. 
Facts. You know, even when he retired, it was like you were looking back. You're like, man, I'm glad I got to watch this guy play. Exactly. You kind of like when you were seeing everything he was doing after his yeah. career and everything. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But I like grew up like hating the Lakers because yeah. they were always better Same. than everybody. Same. So. Yeah, so it kind of pains me. Like, I have a Lakers LeBron jersey, and sometimes it ca- like I'll look in the mirror while wearing it, and I'm like, what have, what have you become? <laughs> but, you know, I'm a ride for my boy, dude. Yeah. I love LeBron. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, look, when you perform in L.A., yeah. you can wear it. Oh, I'm going to wear it for sure. <laughs> we're, playing, we're playing L.A. in a month. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can't remember. Getting ready to hit the road again. Yeah, yeah, we're back at it. Announce a tour. You'll be in the Bay in April. Yes, sir. Uh, I think it's the 15th. Is it the 15th? Is 15th or 16th? 16th. Uh, 16th. 16th. Okay, Cafe yeah. du Nord. Yeah. Super dope venue. And the thing is, like, these venues are only going to continue to get bigger and bigger. Yeah. I think you've already noticed that, right? Yeah, dude. We definitely have had a couple. Like, L.A. sold out on the pre-sale, so we upgraded so the dope. L.A. venue. Um, But, like, touring's weird. It's, like, hard. You can't upgrade every venue, so... But I'm just glad, man. I'm glad we get to, like, blow these ones out. And, like, honestly, the cool, like, the small, intimate shows, mm-hmm. like... I hope these are the shows that people like get to look back on and be like, man, I remember when I saw him in this, you know, like exactly. Yeah. So it's been fun, dude. I love it. That's awesome. That's awesome. And like you started off doing open mics. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're headlining your old tours, bro. Right? It's, it's big. It's, it's big. pretty crazy, man. But honestly, that's one of the cool things about the radio, like doing radio stuff like this yeah. is like coming back and doing the acoustic stuff. It's like, that's how I started playing in Nashville. Just me and an acoustic guitar on stage is like random, you know, mics and, Things like that. So it, it's kind of cool to like bring it full circle. And now I'm playing my own songs and people show up. It's it's sick. For sure. One of the parts of our, our interviews that I enjoy the most, and I um I say interviews because it's multiple now. Yeah. Um, right. We've, we've also jumped on IG Live together that yeah, one we night. Did. When, yeah, uh, we did. I was just happened to be playing. You just, just dropped a new song. Yes, sir. And I just happened to be getting ready to play uh, your record. But, yes, um, sir. The Katy Perry thing, man. Yeah, dude. I just this I, is getting around now. This is becoming a thing. Is it? I, it is. Yeah. Have other people in other interviews brought it up? Well, no. Well, a couple have, but also, I dude, I was scrolling. So I did this podcast a couple weeks ago in Boston, and it was this like podcast. They had like no, no real like TikTok followers or anything. Maybe like a couple hundred or whatever. So I like did this podcast, and sure enough, I'm like scrolling through TikTok the other day, in my my face pops up and it's me kind of ragging on Katy Perry and sure enough this video has like 300,000 views and it's like you know 10,000 likes or whatever but yeah I feel like they know that because they watched our interview no I mean they they could have they could have picked up on it only reason why I found that out is because I found out that you tried for the show Mm -hmm. based on a tweet and I was like huh well how far did he get so I started you know doing my searches on you know Twitter and stuff and I found a random tweet way in the back yep, that yep. said the whole Katy Perry thing. So Yeah, bro. It was, it was wild, man. It was really wild. And uh, my, my part never aired, thankfully. Like, that, honestly, I'm glad that it never aired. But yeah. I did. I got. I w- did the whole thing. I, like, met Katy Perry and Luke Bryan and Lionel Richie and, you know, did the... Dude, it's crazy. Doing American Idol and, like, filming for it is a, is a weird... Like, I it's bet. cool, but it's, like, there's a lot going yeah. on in that. Yeah. It's I intense. Bet. That's awesome, man. But no, I just I had I had to bring it up because so many people asked me about it. They're like, they really she really said that too. But I, I feel really like did. I feel like now if you were to come across Katie, it'd be nothing but love. Oh yeah, dude. Well, honestly, it's one of those things that it's like you know those are character builders, bro. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's like I don't know if I'd be here. like if I had gotten a yes and made it on the show, like I probably wouldn't be here. You know what I mean? Like like things just happen the way that they happen. So yeah, you know everything happens. You know for a reason. <laughs> I guess you know right, what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, tomorrow's a big day. Uh, yeah. You're gonna be back here in the 997 Now studio performing yeah. for your fans. What what's what's going through your mind, man? Dude, I'm just stoked, bro. Like I said, I love doing it, and I I can't wait to you know meet 40 new people and and say what's up and hang out and you know play uh play all the sad boy versions of my songs. Word word <laughs> right. Any any inside information with song was I, uh, I I assume we're getting not the 1975 tomorrow. Oh yeah, we're getting not the 1975. And then to be honest, bro, the other two that I always do is just kind of whatever I'm feeling that day. I'll probably okay. I'll, I'll know when I wake up. And I'll Word. Just come in. I might play a new one. Might not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll Love see. That. Maybe I'll play a new one. Love that. Hey, we'll you know the we'll Bay Area needs that excuse. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We, we'll see what happens for sure. Nah, it's bro, I appreciate your time, man. I know your schedule's crazy, back to back, and uh, you're gonna be spending two days with me. Yes, sir. Because we're gonna have special. a good time. Yes, yeah. sir. Come uh, on. Any last words for the people uh, tuned in, uh, listening, uh, vibing with us tonight, dude? Uh, 2024 is about to be absolute madness. I have 
so many surprises. I have so many things that I want to tell you right now, but I can't yet. Um, but it's going to be crazy, so stick around.